Dolphins fans. Today we are sponsored by our good friends over at iHerb. If you go to iHerb.com and use promo code chat, you're gonna get 22% off your first order. We'll tell you more about them later on in today's show. With that, we get into today's show. I am Will Scott. Hope you're all having a fantastic Memorial Day weekend. And we're going to talk about uh, some position battles that are happening at OTAs. Week one of OTAs in the books. We're going to tell you what position battles are going down over there in South Florida. Which position battle are you most excited about? Let me know down in the comments section. Uh, we're seeing a lot of of people kind of chiming in on the running back battle, right? And that is the first position that we are going to address on today's show, uh, that battle for the RB1 job. You re-signed all four of your running backs in free agency, and you drafted Devon A. Chain. So those are the five running backs you have on your roster right now. Now, I've slotted A. Chain as RB3 behind Mostert and Wilson because those two guys – obviously have uh, a lot more experience in the NFL and have had success at this level. Salvon Achman and Miles Gaskin, they're both competing for spots on this roster. I think the Dolphins will ultimately carry four running backs and probably end up having Ahmed there as the fourth running back. But uh, Devon A. Chain has certainly been making some noise at OTAs, and I do believe that he has a chance to win this starting running back job. He had a great week at minicamp. He had a great week at OTAs this past week as well. In my opinion, just based on everything I heard and read coming out of that first week of OTAs, I thought he was the clear winner from week one, which is saying a lot that a rookie stole the show at OTAs. And when you take a look at uh, the tape on him, when you consider the speed, he's got a shot. Uh, to win that RB1 job. We're seeing kind of this trend in the NFL, this youth movement amongst running backs. Teams want younger guys at the running back position getting the most carry. So I don't know if he's going to be RB1 week one, uh, but by the end of the season, Devon A. Chain could win that job. And based on what we've seen throughout the offseason so far, uh, he might have a shot here uh, to be the leading ball carrier week one against the Chargers. Let's talk about right tackle now. Uh, this is a very intriguing position battle, and uh, most Dolphins fans disagree with me here. Uh, they think that Austin Jackson is going to win the job. I think that it's going to be Isaiah Win. Now, Austin Jackson is entering his fourth season in the NFL. Uh, the fifth-year option was declined. No shock there. Only two games played last year. So in his rookie season, and when he was drafted in the first round out of USC, played left tackle. That was not good. Then he moved to left guard. That was not good. Uh, then he was a right tackle last year, only played in two games, though. When he was on the field, he did look much more improved. Uh, but he's gotten back into shape. I think A.J. looks pretty good. Meanwhile, Isaiah Wynn was signed in free agency. He did not have a good year in 2022 with New England, but has still had some success in this league as a tackle. Chris Greer said before they signed Isaiah Wynn, keyword before, that he expects Austin Jackson to be the starting right tackle. Who wins this job? Austin Jackson or Isaiah Wynn? Type AJ for AJ or IW for Isaiah Wynn. Down in the comment section, it is the pinned comment on today's video. So when that break comes, go down, chime in. Who wins the starting right tackle job? Type AJ for Austin Jackson or IW for Isaiah Wynn down in the comments. I think if AJ wins this job, it's very possible that Isaiah Wynn is going to be the starting left guard on this team. I know that y'all have, uh, have been saying that in the comments for a while, that idea. Uh, I'm only okay with that if AJ looks good at right tackle. If AJ doesn't look good at right tackle, I'd rather Wynn play that spot. It is the most important position on the Dolphins offensive line, protecting Tua Tungavailoa's blind side. So you got to have a... Good right tackle there for Tua, a guy that's going to get the job done. But if Austin Jackson looks good at right tackle, I'm completely fine with uh, trying out Isaiah Wynn at guard. He did play guard last year in New England. want to tell you about today's show sponsor, iHerb. Thanks to them for sponsoring today's show. If you go to iHerb.com and use promo code CHAT, you're going to get 22% off your first order. If you're looking for top-tier sports nutrition products, 
Look no further than iHerb, your one-stop shop for all your health and wellness needs. With so many options out there, it can be daunting to find products that align with your fitness goals. iHerb ensures product quality by shipping from Climate Control Fulfillment Centers, guaranteeing first-rate condition. Every product is stored and shipped exclusively by iHerb. No third-party sellers and free shipping is available on purchases over $20. Trust iHerb. Over 11 million customers have found the best products. Backed by 24 million reviews and 1.3 million five-star ratings. Athlete or fan, iHerb keeps your health in check. Take your sports nutrition game to the next level. Go to iHerb.com, promo code chat, 22% off your first order. iHerb.com, promo code chat. Choose iHerb because wellness matters. I'm so fortunate that I have found iHerb. I'm trying to hit the gym more, and because of that, I'm trying to uh, get into the protein game, right? Try to bulk up a little bit. They have a lot of great whey protein options to choose from, including this one from Muscle Tech. Also, these Power Crunch Protein Energy Bars are fantastic. I love iHerb. You will as well. They got all the best deals, 22% off plus Free shipping on vitamins and supplements, iHerb.com. Promo code chat. That link, that promo code in the comments and the description of today's video. Let's talk about the third wide receiver battle now. Obviously, your top two receivers are solidified in Tyree Kill and Jalen Waddell. But who is going to be the third wide receiver uh, this year? Trent Shurfield left for Buffalo. Here is who's battling for that job, in my opinion. Cedric Wilson. Probably the front runner to win this job right now, but you did sign Braxton Berrios in free agency. You also have Eric Azukanma, the third round pick in 2022 out of Texas Tech. Chosen Anderson, that was a surprising move you made in free agency. And then River Craycraft as well on this roster. I think Cedric Wilson is going to be a lot more involved uh, than he was last year. He had a disappointing season last year after signing that three-year, $21 million deal with Miami after a very productive season in 2021 in Dallas. So I expect Cedric Wilson uh, to be a lot more involved here, and I do believe he's going to be the third wide receiver on this football team. Reports coming out of OTAs were very positive on it said. Who's going to win the third wide receiver job? I think Ced or Braxton, but let me know what you think down in the comment section. Let's talk about inside linebacker now. Uh, this is another intriguing battle uh, that we're following here in OTAs because the inside linebacker room uh, beyond Jerome Baker and David Long, very much up in the air. Now, Andrew Van Ginkle is apparently going to play a little bit of inside this year. I'm not sure how much. So for now, I'm going to keep him as an outside linebacker on this depth chart behind J.P., Duke Riley, a lock to make this team. But after that, the inside linebacker position, I really don't know. Uh, you have Channing Tindall, who was your first pick in the draft in 2022 in the third round out of Georgia. You have Aubrey Miller. Uh, you have Cameron Good, who can play outside and inside. I think the last inside linebacker spot, or maybe just linebacker spot in general, is going to come down to Channing Tindall, Aubrey Miller, and Cameron Good. Uh, maybe it's possible that multiple guys out of those three make the team, uh, but I think it's very possible as well uh, that the last spot on that defense is going to be between those three. Pick one to make the team. Channing Tindall, Cameron Good, or Aubrey Miller. Tindall was your third-round pick in 2022 out of Georgia. Did not see a whole lot of him this past year. Cameron Good, seventh-round pick out of Cal. Last year, spent most of the season on the practice squad. And then Aubrey Miller, the UDFA out of Jackson State, I thought should have been drafted. He wasn't. Dolphins lucky to get him as a UDFA. Let me know. Pick one to make the team. T for Tyndall, G for good, or M for Miller. You had to know we were going to talk about the punter battle. You had to know we were going to talk about Michael Turk against Jake Bailey. Our guy Michael Turk facing Jake Bailey here in this punter battle. Uh, Turk, the UDFA out of the University of Oklahoma. Uh, his nickname is Hangtime. Has a very popular YouTube channel with over 230,000 subscribers. Jake Bailey, who you signed in free agency from the New England Patriots, uh, will be competing with Turk for this job. Now, Jake Bailey might be the favorite to win this job just because he has some experience in the league, was a pro bowler a few years back. His entire contract... Uh, is fully guaranteed, which is going to make it tough for Turk to beat him. Uh, but when you're talking about this competition, it should not be based on how much you pay Jake Bailey. It should be based on who performs better, and I expect that to be Turk. 
Uh, Turk was one of the best punters in college football last year. Uh, his hang time is absolutely ridiculous. I'm not going to pretend to be a punting expert, but go look at this guy's punts on YouTube. He can kick the absolute crap out of the football. Jake Bailey was last in the NFL last year in yards per punt. I think a lot of Dolphins fans at the time were pretty upset uh, that you let Thomas Morstead go in free agency and sign Jake Bailey instead. So Michael Turk, I just think he's a better option than Jake Bailey. Plus, he can be your punter for the next 10 or 15 years. Who wins this job? Type MT for Michael Turk or JB for Mike, or I should say for Jake Bailey. Uh, be sure to stay tuned. We're, we're going to try to get Turk on the show here in the next couple of weeks.